Hello and welcome to the show. I am not going to be messing around with any borrowed supercars or drag trucks today for our street racing career. We are actually going to go and I think buy a supercar. Time has time has come to uh, get a vehicle, hopefully that can uh, can run with the big guns. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out, but you see, I have a plan. Well, as much of a plan as uh, as, as you can get, really, and that is. Well, the bullet. You see, I was having a brief look through here, trying to see sort of what car to aim for. The problem is, in, in many ways, things like, for example, the Yadda, it's going to cost you a million dollars. It's going to take a long time to uh, get that sort of level of money. Even the basic cars, actually quite an interesting colour for the uh, Cheetah. I, I say the, the basic cars, the more basic of the supercars, things like the Cheetah, the Entity, uh, will take you a while to be earning that sort of money from the, uh, from the drag races. The cheapest of the supercars is the Voltic, $150,000. Very good accelerating, very good handling, but not a great amount of top speed. I mean, handling's no use to us in drag races. We've got cars that have got very fast acceleration. It's the top speed that we are lacking a bit. So the Voltic, sadly out of contention. I mean, the rest of these, the Zentorno, we've seen how very, very fast this can be, but that's almost three quarters of a million dollars. The Osiris is getting on for two million. The T20 is getting on for or is over two million. Uh, the eight. 811, somewhere there it is. The 811, 1.1 million. I mean, this has been one of the fastest cars I think we've seen. Uh, one of the racing versions of this. Monstrously quick. But very, very expensive. And it's going to take me a long time to uh, earn that level of money. However, the bullet is actually not too bad in terms of price. $155,000 for a full on supercar. Uh, we've also got one in kind of brown. The game knows. The. <laughs> The game knows these things, and well, we'll get it. We're gonna. I'm gonna go with a. Going to go with a bullet. We're gonna be brave. Now, okay, it's a little bit more kind of ready than brown when we get out into the uh, into the sunlight. It is perhaps one of the weakest of the supercars. Perhaps a little bit underappreciated in many ways. Yes, it isn't as quick as the other cars. However, bear in mind we've had a Sabre Turbo that has been running as up fast as some of the supercars has been very, very competitive. I'm hoping with some upgrades we can make this decently fast. Maybe fast enough even to give some of the uh, some of the higher end, some of the much more expensive supercars serious competition because, yeah, if we can get that top speed and still get good launches with it, then things will be looking very, very good. I have also installed the uh, the Benny's Garage mod for uh, for single player, so we will head over here. It's just the closest place to uh, do some upgrades. Now, the car costing 150 something, 155,000 means we've uh, it's essentially been half of our money has gone into this into this car. But that does give us plenty to work with for upgrades, plenty in terms of bets for the race. Now, don't need to worry about armor. We do want to increase the engine performance. Only eight thousand dollars. So we definitely want to go for that one. Don't really care about the plates now. Uh, oh, not headlight. Uh, wheels is where we wanted to be going. Wheel type. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna stick with high end. Michael's having uh, having a little dance inside there. <laughs> Excuse me, Michael. I'm trying to sort out your car. Will you? Okay. Apparently, I can't do anything about it. Um, oh, bloody hell! These wheels are expensive. Um, <laughs> Maybe we'll go, what is it, sport wheels? Maybe we'll go for some nice, okay, even the sport wheels. Where's my favourite ones gone? The Cos Cosmo? Uh, okay, so Cosmo wheels are just as expensive as the fancy ones I was looking at. I do like the Cosmo wheels, so bugger it. You know what? We will go with them. Uh, we will also get us some nice, uh, that's not what we wanted, tyres, custom tyres. That's the one. Uh, wheel colour. Shall we go for some... I don't even know what what colour wheels go with, well, browny red colour that we've got going on here. Um, I don't really know. Um, I might just leave them as standard for now. <laughs> Maybe we'll respray the car. Uh, my initial plan was that, you know, we we're going to paint all the cars and so on, but I've kind of just liked the random lucky dip that uh, the game has been giving us with, uh, with a lot of this. Does this have... It has stripes, doesn't it, down the side. Um... Again, these very, this sort of dark red colour, not much really goes with it. Uh, you know what? It can stay like this for now. For now. We might come accent colour? What's, is that? For, I guess that's for probably for the low riders because I don't know what that's changing, if anything, on this particular car. Anyway, I digress. Suspension, only $8,000. It's actually proven to be a relatively cheap one for upgrades. 
It's not costing too much. Race transmission, 6,000. Of course, tur turbo's only 1,000. Really? Turbo's very, very cheap. That's a lot of performance from 1,000. $1,000. Okay. I think the bullet is is pretty much ready to ready to race. Let's hope that my expectations of it being a half decent car will be uh, proved correct. So we have come to a, a different drag meet, one we haven't done as of yet. Down by the docks, a fairly short race. This one, we will give the bullet a test to see how well it gets off the line. I was expecting a little bit more in terms of competition here, but apparently that is... Oh, um... <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me, sir. You appear to have parked your car. I mean, I would like to have known how you've done that. That's quite impressive. And I say, um, you know, there, there, there isn't sort of supercars and so on around here, but you just never know what vehicles are going to be horrendous sleepers. Kind of the fun of this mod. There's been another update for this as well as added drag monsters in that have got uh, like engines, engines too big for the car, like engines that will stick out the bonnet, like massively stick out the bonnet and so on. And they are very, very quick. I can't see any of them. Uh, around here at the moment. Some might turn up, I guess. It's a relatively, relatively small meet. I don't think anybody's actually going to want to accept a challenge from me. In the end, I'll just leave it until the game assigns somebody to race against the bullet. No one is feeling confident. Which, I mean, considering I don't know how fast this car goes, you might be better off racing this. It might be terrible. It might be like the bloody Wagner that was, that was awful. Oh, the Rhapsody is going to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, let's see if you can not be a coward. And are you going to bet some decent amounts of money? Yes, indeed you are. We'll go 15 grand for this. That could be a horrendous sleeper car. There's nothing on it visually that uh, that suggests it might be. As I said, it hasn't got the engine sticking out of the uh, bonnet. But things like the uh, tailgater that were very, very fast didn't have that. So let's wait and see. Also, good news, we've got the manual gearbox back. So... That's a, it's, it's a nice feature to have. It should hopefully make me uh, a little bit quicker down the runs. Oh, not the best of starts. I say not the best of starts from the bullet, actually. We didn't get any wheel spin. Now we are really motoring along. It is going to be a fairly... I say a fairly easy victory. There's only a second quicker down there. It is a relatively short drag strip, but uh, yeah, we're a second faster than the... And the Rhapsody, I think, isn't slow then. I think it isn't slow at all. If I'd you know, missed a shift, I probably would have been in a fair bit of trouble. What have we got? Habanero against something. Now, let's race the Shaft. The Shaft's about the only car here that's even got any vague sort of hope at performance. Even he doesn't feel confident. Speed. I reckon it's speed 87. I reckon mine is 109 uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of top end. I don't really take too much attention to them, however, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, GTA stats are not the most accurate accurate of things. Have we got another one stuck here? There we go. See, that's it. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little bit of assistance from the friendly neighbourhood supercar, and I am more than happy to be the one to uh, the one to give that sort of assistance. Uh, are we gonna get gun out? No, fine. I guess we're gonna be watching it from uh, at long range with a sniper scope down here as uh, the, <laughs> the least exciting race in, well, maybe not the least exciting race in drag racing history. At least it's going to be relatively close between the pair of them. Are we going to see anybody into the nines? No. <laughs> they are not in the very fast area. Okay. Who is going to be brave enough to challenge the bullets? Anybody? No? I, I suspect we're going to end up racing the Rhapsody again. Uh, <laughs> It was worth a try coming out here. It's just that uh, nobody's nobody's fancying racing the supercar. It's the downside, actually, of getting the very, very high-performance vehicles. If I got the Serrano here, I could pretty much challenge anybody I wanted. But uh, when you turn up in a very, very high-end car, nobody particularly fancies accepting the uh, the challenges. What about you, Ballista? Oh, it's going to be the Rhapsody again. <laughs> Well, we've got a goal. We've got a goal, and that is to try and get below a nine-second run. If we can get something into the... Oh, God, I am. We always cutting that one close. If we get into the eight seconds down here, I don't think that's too bad going at all. So let's just go and uh, heat up these tyres some more. And then... 
we will hopefully yeah, go a little bit quicker. Let's try and get them right to the top of the uh, the green area. A little bit wonky, pointing a little bit to the left. I'd rather not be. However, we can manage with that. Uh, it's actually not a great start from... Uh, from me there. I'm surprised to see the Raps to get off the line so very well. It's a couple of tenths slow. In fact, it was a big improvement from the Rhapsody. That thing, <laughs> that thing is the second quickest car here, which I wasn't expecting to be necessarily saying about it. Yeah, it was a slightly poor launch from me. In trying to stop wheel spin, I was a little bit... Uh, a little bit too little power. From uh, from the bullet. What we're going to do is I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. We're going to reset the meeting just because I want to see if we can get some some different cars. It seems like we were a little bit unfortunate in that uh, we literally just got a selection of everyday cars. Not necessarily bad, but uh, there we go. Right, let's get in here. Uh, we will race against. Oh, we'll race against a Habanero for twenty-eight thousand dollars. Now this is a sort of a sort of race I can get behind, unless it hasn't got engines sticking out of the bonnet. But <laughs> unless it turns out that thing is a horrendous sleeper, you ne you never quite know. It's it's always it's always a little bit scary. It hasn't got custom tyres. I think it does have custom wheels though, so it may well be uh, a bit modified. Right, bullet. Let's not let me down here. Let's uh, get that's better in terms of a start from me. I think as we are going to shift through the gears. Uh, it's a good run from the bullet. It's a 9-0. Admittedly, I was kind of setting the car up to make sure we didn't smack into the wall after crossing the finish line. That's a slow habanero who had a lot of money to spend on a race. <laughs> People like that, yeah, yeah, I've got lots of time for you. You guys can hang around and uh, <laughs> and race me as much as you like. Oh, Vaca wants a race. Yes, I want to race the Vaca. Um, there we go. We got back in. We, I might be able to, it's such a sort of short run. I might be able to get back in time to race sort of con consecutively, potentially. This should be an interesting one. If we can murder the Vaca, then i am be feeling quite pleased with my choice. Apparently, everybody reckons the Vaca's going to win this. Well, that's fine by me, you know. You guys want to bet on that, and then and I can take all of the extra money from the pot. Oh, it's a very, very bad start from me. All of the wheel spin from the bullet. However, look at it go. <laughs> it is not slow down there. I mean, the VAC is only doing a 10-6. Compare that to what the Rhapsody was doing. That that does show the performance of that Rhapsody. The Rhapsody was quicker or a similar kind of level as the VAC. The VAC is a little bit uh, angry and very, very near. I mean, smacked the, <laughs> smacked the container. Didn't quite go full-on wreck. Um, ooh, look at that beast. <laughs> we are, this is more like it. These are the sort of cars we wanted to be seeing out here. Um, who do we want to race? Race the Coquettes? Yeah, let's go for the cockette. There, there's also that supercar at the back that I forgot what it was because I was busy wanting to make sure we get in time to watch... Oh, not supercar, sorry, muscle car. Okay, that thing is a... Yeah. <laughs> I want to cheer on the orange car, but the thing with the giant engine is exciting. Look at it go. I don't, not sure I want to race it. My God, that is quick. Out to 7.3, but he's not stopped. And I think that might also be the XLS broken and out of commission. <laughs> My god, that thing is fast. I really hope, I really hope at some point this mod gets um, uh, gets updates or ha has an option to be able to turn your car into something like that. Because <laughs> I don't even think the Proto or whatever can compete with that kind of performance. That thing was a monster down here. I reckon we can get eight. I reckon with a really perfect run, perfect shift, we can get eight down here. But maybe perfect tyre temperature, but... I'm sure as hell no, I cannot get into the sevens. Oh, we are just a little bit sluggish off the line. It's twice in a row now. I've been. It's. I don't know whether it's been me at fault for that one. Probably. Uh, we are not going any quicker. Not going any quicker. The coquette though wasn't massively fast either. Nobody bet. Nobody's betting on the bullet. I mean, this is nice for me in that we've made up. Well, I mean, we're not actually that far away from the uh, level at which we started at. I'm liking this car. I'm liking this car indeed. I don't actually know who's racing. Huntley? We'll have a go if no one else wants to uh, race again. Oh, um, guys, someone's deposited an upside down vehicle and it wasn't me. It's rare, I know. It's probably a little bit ambitious. Oh, yeah, he wants to go 13 grand. Well, you know what? I'll take 13,000 off of you. Um, 
Shall we go and give... Uh, no, actually, let's not mess around with him. You, you can stay there. You can sort yourself out in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go do my race, and we will worry about you at another time, perhaps. Oh, God. Or maybe we'll worry about him when he starts glitching and bouncing his way towards me. Let's wait and see on that front. That's more like it, I think, from the bullet. We've got a little bit better in terms of... Oh, in terms of a start, and then I got carried away because I was trying to get that... <laughs> God damn. We get a good start, and I was trying to predict where the things were going to come up, and I uh, got it wrong. Arse. Well done, me. Uh, that, that is a 9.3, so it's quicker. That's how good of a start that was. It was quicker than the previous run, where I got all good shifts. <laughs> That's not bad going. There are two vacas here now? Is another one turned up? I think so. I want to race that. The blue at Tampa. Challenge that to a race. Really? Doesn't feel confident? I mean, it looks pretty decent. I guess it's, uh, statistically speaking, perhaps the stats aren't amazing, but I would say that that thing looks pretty good. Nope, he's not fancying it. Let's go have a race against the uh, blue vacker, shall we? Are we going to be able to get a cinematic over here? No, we are not. It is what? Towers Tampa versus Habanero. And Oh, yeah, that's the one I took all the money off because it had no speed. How is the orange Tampa doing speed-wise? That uh, doesn't seem amazingly quick either, does it? Uh, 11 5 yeah i mean it's 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 all right but nothing nothing particularly particularly special right oh is that vaca broke guess he might be ever so slightly uh eight grand come on we can we can go eight grand okay apparently not we'll go seven and a half then um all right shame we can't go for more i want that eight second run i really want that eight second run the uh <laughs> How do I move that car without activating, like, the start time? Because I don't want to put myself in the box. I think you should have to stay there. <laughs> if ever there was a way for a fail race event to start. Oh, my tyres are going to be really cold. This is the way to do it. With a car upside down with the engine sticking out of the bonnet behind you. Because why on earth not? Okay, another... So, uh, <laughs> there was that moment of concentration where I was just making sure we could get that uh, good launch. There we go! It's a 9-0! I can't really quite pull the car up in time. Upgraded brakes might have been a good idea down here. Um, the Vacker was very quick there. I didn't realise it was a 9-8. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's quite how close he was. It's such a short race that uh, you can't necessarily get all of the time to uh, see what's going on. Let's try and give that uh, XLS a little bit of a helping hand. Get it out of the way and punt. Oh, sorry, Cockettes. Look, don't mind me. I'm trying to help. This helps everyone here. Spectators, out of the way and punt. Come on! Come on! I, don't, I want to challenge him to... I don't really want to challenge him to a race. Don't, want, don't mind me. I'll let you guys go. Have fun. Go on, Huntley. Embarrass the Cockette. It wasn't a particularly fast Cockette. It looks like the Huntley might actually just do it. The Huntley is going to do it. Well done. <laughs> Well done to the Huntley there. 11 0. Okay, I can't roll that car over. It is stuck on the top. Uh, Tampa, we will go up against you. Do you, nobody have any money out here? Is everyone just. Everyone's flat broke. 15 grand. Come on. Uh, we'll go 10 at least. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's something to at least get over 10. 11,000. We'll do nicely. Shall we have one more? We'll have one more shunt on the. I wonder if the front of the bullet isn't helping, perhaps. We'll have one more go at uh, writing the XLS. Nope, it's not going to do it. And we're going to have now a car in a really awkward place for our start line. Sorry. Sorry, look. I've got to back up a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, we've got a uh, little bit of unhappy camera. Our tyres are perhaps not quite as warm as they could be. But let's see if we can get that mythical eight second run only one car has gone quicker and that was a lot quicker with that uh, xls yes we've done it 8.9 from the bullet that did include the fractionally slightly slower having to jink across the line so we didn't plow into the wall we take eleven thousand dollars from that uh, from that race and I think I was going to say some celebratory donuts, but I can't just seem to have quite a bit too much grip for celebratory donuts. We've got to go and explore into the wall, are we? Uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't do crazy wheelies. It does seem to be a pretty good car. Okay, we are already on a short drag strip at the moment, with the exception of the Monster XLS that's stuck upside down. We'll give it one final punt. We'll give it a final hoop. Oh, it's, it's finally upright! 
Yay! I want to watch it race. I'm not going to put myself in the arena because I don't want to race it. But uh, if he goes into a race, we will... If the next, yeah, if he's in the next race, we will bet on him and we will ride in the XLS. Um, if not, then we will, we will leave it there. I'm liking these crazy cars. It's nice to see. Nice to see. It's nice to see the... Um, Oh, go on, Coquette. Race the XLS. Nice to see the mod, you know, being continually updated. And some... Uh, oh, it's going to be the... Oh, it's a boring, boring bout. I say boring bout. The Huntley probably going to win again, so that's always good. Yeah, nice to see the, uh, the the mod progressing and so on. I hope I hope at some point we will be able to make cars like that. Uh, <laughs> over there. Like, like that particular... Particular monster. <laughs> That, though, is uh, going to be it for this video. I think our new car, a relatively good acquisition. As ever, I shall link all of the mods used in the description so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.